Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing Duck Life 3. We finished the first two. Now we are on to this one. This one is Duck Life Evolution. So I don't know. I was about to say, do we grow, like, wings? or? I don't particularly know what's going to go on. Farmer invents genetically modified ducks. Ducks can now become bred to become specialized for a certain skill. Duck racers are ecstatic at the news. A new breed of duck racing is here. So, you're about my modified ducks. We'll take your pick. So, this is our normal duck. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go with the athletic type. Yes, I want to pick the athletic type egg. Congrats, you're on your way to becoming a world champion. League selection. We'll go to amateur league. Okay. But here we go. It looks fairly similar to last time. Options. Okay. We have some coin. Let's go ahead and um, give our boy some seed, huh? Take seed. Eat. Increase your energy, young one. We will make you into a racer. Okay, so there's racing and then there's the training. We still have the same four games as last time, so I don't know what changed. Let's go and do flying. Purple coins boost your speed. Okay, so that's a little new. So I wonder what they did different with this game. That's kind of my question is, it looks like all of the skills are the same. The prices for the food is the same. Ob obviously they have the whole genetically engineered ducks or whatever, but what does that mean? And also what I'm curious about, is there a level cap? Like there was with the first game, so we can't go past a certain level before getting up to a certain max level. I totally said that in a wrong fashion. I guess we can test that with the climbing. Because I'm going to assume, yes, they quite literally have the exact same climbing game because it seems to me they got a little lazy with this iteration of the game because it's almost exactly the same. I don't see much of a difference, and the fact that they have the exact same climbing level also kind of shows that. that. They didn't even bother to switch up to a different skill, but not even that. They didn't even bother to switch the map which you train on. So, that's fairly interesting. But, we're going to try to go as far as we can like usual. And this climbing, really the reason I'm going to do it is I just want to see if there is a level cap right off the bat. The last game did it, I want to know if this game does it. So hopefully we don't get like a world record and they're like, oh, you're capped at 10, so yeah, sorry. Dude, I just finished this at level 150 and you're giving 18, okay. Let's do it one more time. Let's see. I think in the last game they capped us off at 20 the first time around. Let's see if that's where they're going to cap us. Let's actually go ahead and die here. No, they didn't cap us. We're at 21 now. That's interesting. Well, let's go ahead and... Dude, duck, homie. Get your food. And it seems like for this game... Have they fixed the problem with the purple, the purple stuff? So, with this, we get 1, 2, 3, right? With this, how many do we get? One, two, three. I feel like the purple, the purple food is still not as beneficial. The yellow stuff gives us a better energy yield ratio. So I still don't really understand. I've said, if you guys have watched my whole series of one and two, I've said this in every single one so far is that I don't understand what the creator was thinking making this a dollar making this 15 when clearly this dollar is a horribly better uh, um, better deal I don't particularly understand but it's okay mm. it's your evolution type of bonus interesting okay so flying climbing let's do a running and a swimming let's see if they fix this game they did not. They may. They are keeping the same crappy one. The same crappy running game. 
Except, wow, they added a tennis ball this time around. Very fancy. All right, Duck Life 3, I see you. You absolute trash can of a game. The creator did not change anything with this. Yeah, sure, he added a tennis ball. Oh, wow, and these balls come out of the sky instead of... Bro, get that out of here. I'm still going to finish the game, but... Kind of disappointed. The first game was great. The second game was even greater because it actually... The second game expanded on the first game. This is not expanding. At least not so far. Again, we're going to probably get into some deck evolutions and it's going to be like, well, maybe that's when the game gets fun. But why in the world would you not make the game different from the start? You got to remember, these Flash games were made like five, ten years ago. Back when, and honestly, this can maybe give me an overgeneralization, but kids mostly play these. Um, and if I was a kid and I played number two and then I saw number three and I played this, I would probably instantly stop playing. Like, this is the same game. Why in the world would I want to play this again? But hey, maybe, maybe I'm judging too quickly. I'm judging the book by its opening scene. I don't know. But once we get into the evolutions, maybe it'll be a lot funner. But enough training. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We still need to do the swimming. Let's see, is this the same thing with exact same obstacles? I'm talking same exact sprites, same exact everything. Okay, game, I see what you're doing here. But, duck. Yo, get that duck out of the way. Yeah, it seems like the creator was like, hey, let's just add maybe one more obstacle. And, oh, they won't notice a difference. It's a whole new game. Look, there's a duck there. Have you ever seen a duck? Nope. Brand new game. Bro, get that trash out of here. Either way, let's try to go for a real, real high record. Because clearly 20 wasn't the cap, but I'm still wondering if there is a cap. I think swimming is definitely by far the easiest to get leveled up real high. <gasps> wow, they changed the iceberg um, picture. What? I wonder if they changed the hitbox for it too. There we go. There's improvements that I like to see out of a game. Chain... And so you're telling me they changed the iceberg but did not change that island. That island is far more frustrating than that glacier ever was. That was that's an interesting uh, design choice there. It is a nice looking glacier though, although the glacier looks so out of place because look, look at look at a lot of these obstacles. They are the exact same ones that he used in the first game, meaning we have these like matte one colored sprites for the boat and then this glacier is just textured with like shadowing and break it's like it almost seems out of place why would you replace only a single texture and not replace any of the other textures level 28 okay so oh, we got only 28 we got a few so let's go ahead and keep feeding our duck here so yeah i'm i'm not sure about this game man Maybe number four will do like something crazy different. That's what I'm hoping for. Maybe number four is uh, where it's at. Let's go ahead and keep uh, getting his energy up. Because I just, I don't feel like getting into a race and running out of energy. If we could just get this high up right off the bat, we can just do it nicely here. Is it 23? Got a few more coins to give him. I wish I could bring the duck closer. Can I not bring the duck closer? Also, what? what in the world? Is that a glitch? Guys, I just found a glitch. Okay, so long story short, when this game is played, you're not really supposed to see these edges here. You're not supposed to see this. It's supposed to be cut off. But in my Flashpoint launcher, it seems as if I can see, because really, the, only the developer is supposed to know this is here. But me, as a because I'm using Flashpoint, I can see them. And for some reason, the game is actually letting me drag the food out. I'm not buying it. I'm just dragging it out. Maximum for the skill at this stage. Okay, so there is a max of 50 here interesting okay let's go ahead and go to race qualifiers race one 
Let's see how we stack up. Okay, we're actually not that bad. Okay, our swimming is horribly better than the others. See you later, losers. Okay. Okay, so I, I was actually fully expecting to actually lose this first race. So that's a welcome surprise. And... Okay, qualifiers, we gotta go race two. I don't know how our flight is. I think we might lose this one. Oh... There's that orange guy that's super fast. Why are you so fast? Okay, well then we have to train our flying here a little bit. We we'll probably just sit here for a while. Our, I think our flying is currently our weakest point. I have to double check what our levels are at, but I know our flying is not very good. Dang it. So I think again, 50 is max. So in this game, I wonder, did they increase the cap? From 150 because so far one and two the maxes were both 150 i wonder if in this game because of the evolution we could actually go past the 150 maybe i don't know but i guess we'll figure it out fairly quickly once we get there all right we made it to 40,000. very nice all right, level is 36. Let's just get it. Let's just go ahead and get it to 50. While we're here, might as well. Oh, 42. Might as well just get it done, right? Boom, boom. I think. You and I wonder, as far as like speed run tactics, since we're so fast right off the bat, is it beneficial to basically? Here, let's do this. Like, oh, you're max level. Well, I'll show you guys maybe the strat that I just came up with in a second. I'm sure I'm not the first one to come up with it, but I think I figured something out. Uh, running. I think we need to. We think we need to get our running up, and then we could probably uh, try to compete again. Currently, our running is hot poo poo garbage. So basically, with that flying, since we have such speed off the first couple seconds. And I think our how much experience we get is kind of based off how far we make it. Could we technically use the first couple seconds of speed in a flying game? And then die early. Because really, by the end of the run, we go very, very slow. And we end up wasting all of that time that we go slow to get a small amount of XP. Or we can just go very, very fast for a couple seconds, die, then go again instantly, fast, fast, for another second, die. And that way, so, you know, the beginning gives me 100, so this is just made up numbers. The beginning gives me 100 XP, but if I do the full flight, it gives me 150. Well, what if I just stop the flight early and just get 100, 100, 100, 100, very, very quickly, instead of getting 150, 150, 150 in a much, much slower fashion? So next time we have to train up our flight after we win this next race, I'm going to try that strat to see if maybe that is a way that we can upgrade our flight faster than normal. And I'll have to maybe scratch the deepest part of my brain to maybe come up for ways how to do the other ones quicker. Like this one, I don't really know how to do this one any quicker. We really just have to keep going. Okay, level 28. Let's go ahead and go back to the race. Qualifiers race 2. Let's see if, if our actually our flight is maxed. We should be good enough, and our racing is much much better too. So yeah, if we didn't win that. I'd be very surprised. All right, come on, you ducklings! Qualifiers final. There we go. I think our swimming is maxed, right? I'm assuming. Oh yeah. Look at us go. Oh, that that purple one's a little too big. Was that a strength duck? A little too big and it actually caught the ground on that water which is slightly unfortunate our, our what is our climbing level I totally forgot if I maxed it or not I don't think we did either way we're gonna win fairly easily here just gotta wait up for the other ducks all right you won now go in all the other races so now that we've so Oh, so this is just the amateur series. So now we need to go into the finals of the amateur series. Now let's see. Am I good enough 
for the start of the amateurs. I think I am. All right, that one was easy. Race two over the ship. Now, once again, I don't remember what my climbing is at. Oh, these guys are way better climbers than I am. Apparently, I neglected, neglected to train that one. Now, can I maybe still win even with Boo Boo? No, I can't. Okay, um, fair enough. What is our climbing at? Climbing is 21. Oh, I straight up have not trained the climbing ever since basically the beginning of this video. Okay, let's go ahead and get the climbing up a little bit more so we're not dog water at climbing. And again, this one's by far one of the better ones to train in, so I don't mind in the slightest. Just a little back and forths. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just do a little, couple of little trick shots. Boom, boom, boom. Watch this, bang, bang, bang. You've never seen that before. Boom, boom. Oh, okay. We almost caught the end of that. Because with this game, and I'm sure you guys have noticed this, but really there's two ways to die. There's getting caught just like that, but also if you're not fast enough, you can actually just kind of get clipped at the bottom and die too. Which isn't very nice. Right, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Get ourselves up to 50. Hopefully, just as I said about getting caught, I ended up getting caught like a kind of a dummy. I'll try not to get caught this time to actually go a little little farther than usual. You know, and see right there, you can get caught fairly easily. It's not a hard jump, but you can kind of jump into the void, which is slightly unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at us go. We are speed. I'm Lightning McQueen. All right, there we go. Our climbing is maxed. We could probably win that race too now since our climbing is real good. Oh, yeah. The other ducks' climbing is actually not bad either, but since ours is maxed, we are better. And our flying is way better too. Ooh, that, that duck almost caught up, not gonna lie. All right, the final final. Now, the other one was fairly close. I feel like we might have to go back and train one or two of our skills here, but maybe not. See, that orange duck is such a good flyer. Can we maybe, oh, in our climbing, our climbing is good though. Maybe we can kind of catch up with the climbing. That orange one might beat us though. I must see it's oh, it's flight is so much better than mine but maybe we can outspeed it no they're just better swimmers okay so that's close that's close but like i thought we have to go back and train a little bit more okay so it's really just our running and swimming so let's go ahead and get those up to 50 i guess you know and then we'll be able to beat that race and Finish the amateur series. One, two. That tennis ball gets real annoying. So you don't want to hit it. Woo. Oh, I thought I messed up there. Apparently, I did not. Just don't touch. Woo! 37. See, even with this, I think I could almost win because that other race was fairly close. Not like I was super far off the mark there. I just upgraded my running a little bit. Let's go ahead and where's our swimming? So our flying is almost max. Okay, race. No, 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 no. Swim, 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 swim. Okay, there we go. And the swimming definitely shouldn't be very hard to upgrade. Considering Island Island Yeah Yeah, I don't I don't know why we can see the edges of the screen Using the flashpoint launcher a little weird And a little cheaty too as far as that seeds concerned but at the same time those seeds are literally like two dollars Okay, we're not maxed, but you know what? Let's go ahead and give uh, the amateur finals another whirl. Maybe we're just fast enough to maybe outpace that orange duck now. Maybe, just maybe. See, we're already kind of ahead. Uh, I expect the orange one to catch up as far as the flying is concerned, but 
All my other stuff is so fast. The ducks will be behind no matter what, really. You got this. And they are much better swimmers, but I also upgraded my swimming, so... Oh yeah, they almost caught up there, but not really. Alright, we... Oh, I'm evolving. Hey, oh, Pokemon. Your baby duck is now a lanky duck. You can now enter the advanced league. Interesting. Okay. We finally added stuff. Okay. Welcome to the advanced league. New training. Advanced contestants. New longer tracks. Maximum of level 100. Interesting. Okay. So, energy is still maxed at 50. Okay, it's still flying, running, climbing, and swimming. But we do have a new climbing track. Very interesting. So now, instead of climb... You gotta be kidding me, bro. It's still the exact same thing. It's a different... It's different textures, but it's... It's still something super similar that just repeats over and over again. My bro. The developers hard at work making these absolutely gorgeous levels, I can see. And actually, funny enough, this one's easier. <gasps> Woo! Do I get punished for talking crap? Because that was kind of nasty right there. Still made it, because I'm nasty, but that, 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 woo, that's kind of nasty. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see, I see. But yeah. Alright. I still say my words, this level's easier. The cave one is actually harder because it has all those tiny little things that stick out. This one, these satellites really aren't that hard to dodge, to be honest. Like, look how kind of like fast we're going. This one is fun, though. Well, all the climbing ones are fun. The climbing has always been my favorite, like, training. I don't know why, but this is, like, actually fun to do, unlike... Like, the swimming... Alright, 73. We could probably stop there. Um, the swimming's not fun, man. Okay. Our boy has feet now. But, sadly, we're still in the same ocean. But there is different obstacles, so that is very interesting. Still have the boat. We still have these concrete walls. We also have these submarines... And the underwater broken pipes. Very interesting. Just a collage of new and old things. I don't even know what in the world that's supposed to be. I can tell that's a cement pillar. I can tell that's a ship. But what in the world is that red stuff supposed to be? <gasps> I almost died there. I'm kind of a trash can. Oh, there's the yacht. Well, actually, the yacht still exists. Yacht time. Alright, we're doing so far so good. And we're if we're real good at this, we can just max it out instantly. Hopefully we can do that, because that would be very nice. Are we at 24 minutes? Okay. We finished Duck Life 2 in round 50. So right now we're about halfway through that video length, but don't know how long it'll take so we'll see does each duck life play time get longer or does it get sh or does this one get shorter I guess we'll know at the end here although I'm just gonna pat myself on the back I'm doing a pretty great job at this swimming be very surprised if we didn't just like max it out instantly Woo. fast <gasps> Level 70. What? We didn't max it out. We only got 20? Trash. Okay. We need flying and running. Oh, oh, we're going out of a cannonball. Ooh, what in the world is that supposed to do with that? Oh, am I supposed to be there? Okay, I get I get it. The arrows are telling me where I have to be. Which makes it slightly harder because I don't have to dodge. I actually have to... That was a terrible way to say it, but... Instead of closing off one part of the map and I have to be anywhere else, 
and this makes it harder by I'm closing off the entire thing and you need to be here. Well, it's just a tiny bit harder. Still not very hard though. 65, okay, let's do a couple more flying runs here. A little, little, little faster, get a little perp. See, I feel like the flying was always slow, but all of a sudden, flying might be the easiest to level up now. So I don't know what changed, but something changed. See, we're at 78. Our max is 100. At this point, let's just sit here and max out the flying because it's actually fairly easy to max it out. Ooh, that's a low one. Look at us go. The speed. The violence. The momentum. We are speed. I am speed. Alright, we're going 20 miles per hour. Which is not that fast, actually. Really, it's pretty fast for a duck, though. But, like, not that fast. Groovy music. I'd love to see it. 98. What? Unless we're just, like, two off. Let's just do this, and let's just die early. There we go, max. Okay, what do we got? Running. Running is the last one that we want to, we should probably do, like, right, right now. Did they change it up at all? Oh, now we got stairs. Whoop, whoop. They added stairs. Look at them go. Developers. Going crazy. Absolutely crazy. I know that probably took them a solid three and a half minutes to do. Probably not even that. In the last game, there was literally a level editor. He probably didn't even change anything. He just used his own level editor to just add in a little step. What an absolute workhorse. <gasps> Dude, how do I dodge those balls? Don't you like jump on top of them? That's what she said. <gasps> See, I don't know how to... Some... I feel like the tennis balls are easy to dodge sometimes, but then horribly hard to dodge the other times. Orange. That's a big orange. 63. Yeah, I feel like running is real important. Which is annoying, considering it's one of the hardest to level up, but... Running is definitely important. You know... Maybe we'll just get it to like 70 or 80. And call it a day there. Rock. Tennis ball! Dude, okay, 76, that's fine. Let's go ahead and race in the qualifiers. We should be able to... Truck through these qualifiers fairly easily, actually. Yo, why in the world are the other ducks... Oh, is that like the different evolution of the other types of ducks? Mine is definitely like the sickest evolution, because I got legs, and y'all don't got legs. And hey, look at me go. I'm just better than you. Yo. Qualifiers. Let's qualify for the final, and then we can go into the actual tournament. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at me go. I'm basically a human at this point. Fly. And then swim. To be fair, a lot of the swimming can be negated by decent flying. So if your flying is good, essentially your swimming is also good. Okay, race one. Let's see if we can uh, go ahead and just dust these guys. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Their climbing is a little better, no? Maybe I can still win? Oh, what? Their climbing is better? Let's see, do, do they win every time? I think they I think they win every single time. Well, see, this time that dude is like crazy ahead of me. Okay. We need to train our climbing. Our climbing is only a 73 technically, so. And I don't mind it because this is a fairly fun game actually. So sure, I will train my duck to climb faster. I also feel like in this game, this duck is absolute is an absolute unit. Why can't I do this during the race? Hey, look at him go. He's going yeet yeet. He's Spider-Man up in here. Okay, so regarding my statements earlier, I I actually still don't take them back. <laughs> I was complaining that the developer didn't change much with the game. To be honest, he still didn't do. He's it's still not really that much changed, right? Like this is 
yeah, it's a new map, but it's so similar. Like, changing the background image of the, the course isn't like changing up the game. And even the course itself is fairly similar with very... Um, very similar structure of the climbing, too. Okay, I think we'll be good now. Race finals. All right, so we just gotta we just gotta outclimb these, these ducks. Oh yeah, look at this go. We fast. Zoink. All right, let's go to finals. Race two. This will be our flying. Let's see, is our flying up to par? It is. Good to know. Where is my hat? I don't know. I don't. I feel like hats will slow you down. You don't need a hat. All right, finals. The finals of... I forgot what league we're in here, but... I think we're fairly better at everything here. So, I'm, ooh, these guys are better climbers. Look at them catching up. They are better climbers, but I'm still better at everything else. So, not like it'll matter, but... Ooh, these guys are fast. Some of these guys are even better flyers. Some of these guys are even better swimmers than me. Oh, don't tell me I lose. What, I actually lose? Wow. Okay. What do I need to train? My flying is already at max. My swimming? Okay. I guess I need to train my... I don't know, because I felt like I lost that in my... F in the flying. I lost it in the flying, and somehow... But my fl flying is max. Now, I know that probably has to do with my, like, athletic build, as far as my duck. Because our, our flying is affected by that. We're better at swimming and running. I don't know. Let's just uh, get a little better at swimming. And maybe that'll just uh, kind of push us right over the edge. To the point where... We can kind of... Oh, those things actually kill you. Okay. You know, I'm also wondering... Can I potentially glitch out the game? I wonder if there is something I could do with this... Launcher that I can like just glitch out the game in a fair manner. Obviously, glitching out is never fair, but... It's in the game, and it's fair and square. If the developer didn't want you doing it that way, then they should have broke code for you to not be able to do it that way. Alright, let's just do one more race, and honestly, I'm not going to try very hard. Let's just maybe get to 90, and call it a day for the swimming. Train a little bit on the other one. Okay, what's the other one that we're missing? Running. Okay, so we'll do just a tiny bit more running. Let's maybe try to get the running up to 90. And then we'll be able to really, I think, outspeed them. I think we'll still be slower in the flying no matter what we do. But... Tennis ball. Yeah, I think I have to go on top of it. It's actually fairly hard. I can go on top of these things. Which, I don't know if it was like that in prior games. I don't know if this is something new. Where I can actually just jun jump on top of the balls. Okay, 97. Okay. No way we lose now. I think this is the easiest final of our lives here. Yeah, because look, we're, we're better runners. Ooh, that orange one is still a better climber than me. But of course, with my athletic build, that's kind of warranted. As far as flying, they're about the same. I think that brown one's a better flyer. But I'm a horribly better swimmer. That is easy peasy. No problemo at all. Okay. You're now evolving again. What? what? Your duck is now an athletic duck. You can now enter the professional league. Professional league. Okay. Welcome to the professional league in, on Easter Island. Pro contestants. Longer tracks. Level maximum of 150. So we're still at a 150 maximum. Okay. Let's go ahead and try the qualifier for the first one. Are we good enough to at least... Ooh, no, we're not. These guys are much, much faster than I am. How is our running, though? Our swimming. I'm a better swimmer. Okay, so not horribly far away. Well, what about our energy? Is our energy still capped at 50? Energy still capped at 50. Okay. Well, then let's go ahead and... Uh, we gotta... We gotta... Get back to training. Pro swimming. 
Okay, oh, okay, so this is a completely new level now. We're no longer in that weird little one. Interesting, okay, so the developer was like, yeah, I'm just gonna bring in all the old stuff and, uh, ooh, excuse me, and bring in new stuff. Which is interesting. Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't like that, to be honest. I feel like, don't bring in old assets from your old games. I played your old games, I don't want to replay them. I played them for a reason, Now I do, and I'm done, I don't want to do that. I didn't, I didn't want to do that same stuff again, so I'm, I'm glad there's new levels now. I'll say it that much, I appreciate the new levels now, but I very much think that the earlier ones shouldn't have been the way that they were. Okay, um, instead of crap talking, let's try to maybe focus to try to get real far this time around. Stop crap talking, David. Okay. We can almost max out our swimming here. Let's just do it. Might just mess around and just max it out on accident. We're at 114 already. 117. Just 23 more levels, no problem. And maybe we can actually finish this game faster than we did... Duck Life 2, potentially, if we, if the other ones are as quick as, ah, oh, no, okay, no. I felt like, I, I thought I was going to get a lot more levels for that one than we actually did. Also, once again, I don't understand the coins, because the coins are now useless. I already maxed out my energy, why would I need these coins? As far as I was concerned, I, I don't know if I'm just, like, missing the shop, but I don't see a shop where I can spend them either. Keep hitting these little edges. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll get it done. Woo! Every time I have to click a new one, I keep forgetting that I have to be actively holding that arrow key right off the bat, because my duck will absolutely just, like, crack its nose on the ground because its master didn't tell it to, hey, maybe you should not smack your head on jagged rocks for some reason. 142. Okay, a little more, a little more. I probably could have got it done a little faster if I was a little bit more focused on the rocks. But, it's okay. We'd be swimming, we'd be having fun, we're chilling. Ooh, big old space. 150? Ah, oh, 149. Alright, we can just die instantly and probably make it to 150 here. Yep. Maximum. Okay, we're done with swimming. Let's do flying next. Why not? I think flying is the next. Oh, we're no, dude. We're back to this. The other one was better. Why would you bring us back to this? Come on, developer. What are you doing? Oh, let's see. Okay, I, I guess they. You, now we mix in both. It's a little harder. Come on, man. Come on. I guess the, here's the one thing I will give to him. I'm technically not giving him any better suggestions, right? I'm complaining and complaining, but I'm not saying how to make it better. So, I'll give him that. Maybe I'm just a hater, right? Drink too much haterade. Drink. Drink? What am I even saying at this point? Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm jaded by the first two Duck Lives, because I think they were good. Ah, 128. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and max this one out. Yeah, I feel like the... I said, I said this before. The, transi whew, the transition between Duck Life 1 and 2 was great. Um, I felt like Duck Life 2 was almost like... Not a brand new game. But it added a whole new skill feature, it added those, you know, the different way to feed the duck. I feel like this one didn't add much, because it didn't change the skills. It changed up how the skills are played, but in the horribly smallest amount. The food isn't any different. And the evolutions are basically just... Are just kind of a, a big nothing burger. They make a couple of traits slightly faster, some slightly slower. But like, I'm training. I'm gonna max them out anyway. Not like it particularly matters to be real. 
So, it's again, the whole evolution thing is kind of a big nothing burger. So. I don't know, I'm, I'm being kind of a hater with this game, but... Look. If you guys have watched my Flash games, just in general, you guys know that Flash games have a tendency to have horrible sequels. And I don't know why. I mean, I know it's the same thing with a lot of movies. Alright, there's Max. For our flying. What do we got next? Flying, swim, running. Okay, so we need to do uh, running. Um, like most things, the sequels tend to be a little worse. Okay, how's the running different? Not much different. If anything, it's easier? But Flash games have that same thing where most sequels... The, the developer sees, oh, that was great. Like, that was a, you know, this game was a hit. Let's make a second. But then they end up not putting in as much effort on the second or aren't innovative enough. And that's pretty universal across most Flash games. There's a very, very select group of Flash games that don't do that. Um, specifically, I think Balloons does a good job of evolution. Like, Crush the Castle, that series did a good job of, like, you know, adding new things, new structures, new bombs. But then there's a lot of games that didn't do that very well. An example, I think, um, from 2 to 3 for this game was bad. I think um, the Learn to Fly was not a very good evolution. I feel like Learn to Fly 1 to 2 was good. But once again, Learn to Fly 2 to 3 was really bad. Um... Let's go ahead and just keep maxing out this running while we're at it. I'm gonna think of some other games that had horrible transitions. Luckily, a lot of the Flash games that are real good didn't have a sequel, which I actually almost prefer to them having a, just a bad sequel. Like, um, oh, I guess another example is the Swords, uh, the Swords and Sandals, the Gladiator game. I feel like the first one was real great. The second one was eh, and then whatever they did afterwards was hot garbage. I'm talking. Smelly dog poo, like, for real. That was bad. Um, but there's a lot of good games that don't have a sequel, which I'm glad they stayed that way. Like, the Burrito Bison. Like, don't give that a sequel. Why would you, right? Maybe it has a sequel. I don't know about it, and I'm just dumb. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. That's just my thoughts on sequels. I think a lot of Flash game sequels are pretty bad. But... Again, I also have to remember that most of these games are made by a single person in their basement. A lot of indie developers, so... And I hate to say even indie developers, because most of these guys with Flash games are quite literally not even developers. They're just doing this for fun. And it just so happened to become popular, you know? So I can't poop on them too much if, you know, this is just a hobby. Well, yeah, it's just a hobby, man. Just release your games. Have fun with it. But as a... Um, someone who plays the games... I feel like I have the right to criticize them if the game is lacking. Whew, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I was going to be 100% honest, man. I'm just trying to find filler. Just talking filler because... <laughs> here we go. More complaining filler. This is so boring, man. I just have to sit here and do this for 10 to 15 minutes to max out an arbitrary running skill. There's, there's nothing really I can talk about. There's no dialogue. Like, it's just... I have to make things up to talk. So, here we go. Just a little more. We're almost at 150. We're at 144. We get one or two good more runs in, and we're maxed out. And this time, we won't have to finish the qualifiers and try to come back or, you know, train more. We're just going to max out everything instantly, and we just can finish the game. Just right off the bat, just finish the game. I don't feel like coming back. I think this is good. I'm just going to die, because, yeah, we're at we're max at 150. What do we got? We literally just got climbing left, which luckily, once again, is really... Okay, well, let's see how they changed it. Oh, wow, surprise. They went back to the cave game. The only difference is now the bottom. Instead of a hard line, it's lava. Wow, very exciting, developers. Thank you for that, um... Amazing, amazing innovation. But here's the thing. The lava's swallowing me up. I need... I'm guessing I just have to raise that level to just get a little faster here. But, yeah. This is literally the exact same level as before. 
This one isn't even changed. The only change is we got the volcano under us now. Which is like, sure, dude. Now I'm in a volcano. I just have to do this over and over again until I get a high enough level to maybe outrun the volcano. Very fun and interactive. Very, very. Alright, here we go. Outrunning the volcano. One step at a time. Nyom. Nyom, nyom. Yeah, this definitely... This one wasn't changed up at all. If anything, again, we went backwards. We got a brand fresh new reskinned level. And I'm like, okay, well... Sucks, but at least it's reskinned. This one, it's like, nope, you're getting the exact same level as before. The only difference is now you're gonna have to do it a million times because the lava is freaky fast. I'm talking Jimmy John's. That lava's catching up to us very quickly. Alright, 116. Oh, that's interesting. So going back and forth actually slows you down. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this another whirl. This time, I'm not going to jump unless necessary. Just slow. Okay, see, I almost still didn't matter. Even if I don't unnecessarily jump, that lava still kind of basically just catches me 123 almost there you don't wonder am i able to just get the world championship even if i don't have my timing max i feel like though i shouldn't figure it out because if i lose it i'm gonna lose more time on playing the game just by not maxing this out and just failing the race itself so I might as well just go ahead and uh max it out while we're here while we're at it what do we have 47 minutes okay so this duck life is this three or four? I think this is Lord Almighty. I'm losing my brain. This game is causing is causing me to lose brain cells. We're gonna finish this game in around the same time that we finished the second. Maybe just a little over. Might be over by just a couple of minutes. So you can tell that each game is adding a slight amount of content to increase the minute duration. But someone can very reliably just get it done in basically less than an hour. Which is good for a Flash game, which I commend them for. They're, I think I've, I've had a complaint in the past with a lot of games of... If it takes more than a couple hours to finish, it's not it's not a super great Flash game. Because most Flash games are browser-based. And they're the types of games where you don't save and come back to. You play the Flash game, you leave. And usually, your scores get deleted. You know, Because Flash games, at least in my day, were played in schools. Um... So I would, I would play a game at, at a random school computer, and then I would leave, and my score would be gone. So a lot of Flash games that take a lot of hours, they're not particularly good because most people don't come back to it. It's a one-time thing. So when it, really the sweet spot for me for a Flash game is about an hour. The sweeter spot for YouTube is 30 minutes, but... Okay, there we go. Max. So we got Max flying, climbing, running, swimming... Energy 50. Let's go ahead and beat the professionals. Again, since we're maxed, these are, like, obviously going to be no-brainers. We're going to absolutely dust these guys. Uh, maybe I can just not even run at all. Just fly the whole way there. Yeah. we. Jeez, he's fast. I'm quite literally just not even walking. I just fly the whole thing. Race. Qualifiers. Race 2. Okay. Let's see. How fast do we swim? Dude, get out of here, bro. Ooh, look at our running. I need I need an all-running level. I need to see our boy absolutely, like, hop, dude. Alright. I think this is flying right off the bat, right? Yeah. I need to see some running. See, we're gonna, like, almost... Ooh, ooh, look at him go. Jeez, dude. The man just skipped the level. You absolutely love to see it. Nyom. Alright, now he's gotta give the other ducks a second here. Come on, dude. Okay, here we go. Race. We made it to the finals, the professional finals. Jungle Hopper. Okay, dude. You guys saw, especially with our evolution type, we get that bonus for the running. So it's just like actually a joke actually a joke race finals race to the cliff now how is our climbing comparatively i think the others might be just 
Yeah, one of them is was a better climber, but I was a faster runner right off the bat. Okay, race, finals. The absolute final race. I think, is this the end end? It doesn't seem like they made a big show as far as the final race. I, before it'd be like, oh, you're entering the championship. Is this just the final race? That's just it? Or is there another championship that we play after this? Okay, easy race. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see if they're going to throw like a championship our way now, now that we're done. <gasps> oh, the worthy port has appeared. I wonder where it goes. To the layer of the champion. Okay, I knew it. That they're, they're, They have to have some championship race, right? The portal takes you to the layer of the ultimate racer. As you travel, you feel yourself evolve. You're now a supreme duck. Look at us go. All right. Oh, hey, I can, I can see the duck right over there. Final race. This is the champion duck. He will not lose easily. Watch out for his army of domo -kun. Click on them to stop them attacking your duck. Oh, it's a little bit of both. Okay. Hey, okay. Evolution. Here we go. Get out of here. Luckily, I'm a Counter-Strike player. Shouldn't be that bad. Pium. Pium. Quickscoped. You're trash. Mom, get the camera. Dude, this is like a multi-layered race. This is so weird, but I'm, I'm here for it. This is like the first change where I'm like, okay, this is actually kind of sick. Good job, developer. I like this level. And we win either way. Congrats, you beat the champion. You're now the king of racing ducks. It's rewards time. What is it? Two throne room, arcade, high score training games, Domo can shoot out 500,000 coins. What, are, what am I supposed to spend those coins on, homie? Okay, but what do I? Your ducks? Arcade. Domo can shoot out. Quick to shoot as many Domo can as you can. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. This is kind of cool, but also somewhat useless too, but I like this. Little switch up in the dynamic here. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's see how many we can get here. I was hoping to get 50. Very cool, and I think the game's glitched because it's not doing anything. All right. Good way to end the game. It being glitched and won't let me out. Guys, thanks for watching. I think there's a fourth game. We're going to go ahead and run that one up. So I'll see you guys then.